All right, hello again. Well, now that we have a handle on, you know, what why we would want to rotate or translate a coordinate system, uh, I'm going to start a scenario that I kind of uh, worked out that uh, I rotate a um, assumed coordinate system with a magnetic uh, orientation into a state state plane coordinate system uh, with a grid uh, orientation, right? State plane coordinate system orientation. So, um, since I'm from Rhode Island, I'm picking the um, the Rhode Island area, but uh, in the Rhode Island state plane coordinates. But the coordinates aren't really. Uh, I'm just calling them Rhode Island, right? Right? They, but they really don't mean anything on the Earth. I'm just kind of picking the coordinates. All right. So, so the uh, existing information. Existing info. Whoops. Existing info. All right, I'm saying that I have a Rhode Island highway bound here. They call it uh, R I H B. All right, and this has point number one prime. All right, and then down here, uh, we have another Rhode Island highway bound, and this we're going to call this point two prime. Two prime. All right, so these have uh, Rhode Island state plane coordinates on them, uh, not real ones. But I just I just made them up. So point one has a northing one prime point one prime has a northing of twenty eight thousand two hundred and forty eight and an easting of thirty three thousand. Two hundred and eighty-nine. Okay, and then uh, two prime has a northing of twenty-six thousand seven thirty-two, and an easting of thirty-four thousand. 926. Alright, and I already did the math out. I inverse between those. Alright, so from 1 to 2. Actually, let's, just, let's go from 2 to 1. 2 prime to 1 prime inverse has an azimuth of 3, 12 degrees, 48 minutes. 08 seconds and a distance of 2,231.149. All right, so that's our existing information. We got two points. They both have coordinates. Uh, they both have coordinates on them that are reference to. Um, uh, the Rhode Island State Plate Coordinate System. All right, and these these are these coordinates are reduced to ground. Right, meaning that um, the distance here is the same distance as you get if you um, set up on both these and and uh, shot them with a uh, with a total station. Right, usually um, ground distances are longer than grid distances, right? So if 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 you kept these coordinates in the state plane coordinate system uh, and inverse them, the distance you inversed is most likely less than the um, distance you shoot between them uh, with a total station.
right so I reduce them to the ground so so they should match now right this this distance should match um, if I sat on one and and um, set it the other and get the distance between them right it, it should be the same okay so so now the um, retracement information Okay, retracement info. All right, I said azimuths are related made to mag north, magnetic north, uh, and the coordinates are assumed. Right, coordinates are assumed. So I just picked, uh, you know, whatever, 10,000, 10,000 on some traverse point that I started with. Right, doesn't really matter uh, where I where I started, but um, so the um, so our retracement stuff. All right, so I'm gonna have a get an RIHB here. All right, this is going to be point one. R I H B. I got another one over here. Go down a little bit. Another one over here. This is point two. All right, so these two are the same, right? They're the same points, just in different coordinate systems. Alright, so we got so point one. Well, right, let me let me just do, and I also have two more points in this that I that I um, located in my traverse. So I have another point out here. Right, I'm calling this a. Uh, I'm calling this a granite bound, an existing granite bound. Then I have another point. Bring this down a little bit. Right here. This is going to be an existing granite bound. Also, I'll call it stone bound. Existing stone bound. Right, so the angle that I have gotten here is 107, 107 degrees, 15 minutes, 26 seconds. And then the angle from, oh, this is point 3, this is point 4. Right, the angle from one two to four. Right, this angle is going to be two twenty degrees, seventeen minutes, and forty nine seconds. Okay, so point one. Right has a northing of ten thousand three forty six and an easting of six thousand five six two. All right, point two. Has a northing of nine thousand two eighty eight point one six two and an easting of eighty five twenty six point four 
three five. Right, and if so, if you inverse from um, <clears throat> if you inverse from two to one, from two to one, the azimuth is two ninety eight degrees eighteen minutes oh eight seconds, and the distance is. Um, the same, right? It's the same as the existing information, right? We, the bounds didn't move at all, right? They're just it's two two three one point one four nine, right? The distance between the distance between them is the same as the existing survey. All right, and the uh, the azimuth from oh, I mean, if we inverse from two to three. Two to three. The azimuth is forty five degrees thirty three minutes thirty four seconds. And the distance is twelve forty eight. Uh, 1,248. Okay, and then if we inverse from 2 to 4, um, the azimuth is 158 degrees 35 minutes 57 seconds. And the distance between 2 and 4 is 1,400 in 26 feet. Okay, so these are azimuths related to magnetic north, right, and then um, ground distances. All right, so I'm uh, actually almost out of time, so I want to. Um, I just set up our scenario, so I'm just going to um, continue this in, in the uh, next video. See you soon.